Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Transformers Titans Return review for you. Uh, this is the second wave of the Titan Master class for Titans Return. Uh, in this wave you get Brawn, Clobber, Ape Face, and Skytread. So two Autobots, two Decepticons. Uh, not a whole lot going on with the packaging here. Kind of a big picture of the head. That is what the uh, Headmaster slash Titanmaster is going to turn into. And then this assortment all comes with like a tiny little vehicle. Um, really nothing going on in the back of the packaging here. So if you cut away this plastic part, all the cards look exactly the same. But you can see uh, Brawn is the G1 character. Clobber, I assume, is Grimlock because the head is identical. Um, plus they reuse the mold from uh, Squeeze Play or... I forget what his actual name is, but I call him Squeeze Play, um, which kind of turns into a little T-Rex, so that's a little weird. And then Ape Face and Sky Tread. Uh, these two are already repaints of the two out of the first wave, which is kind of weird to see because usually you don't get repaints until a little bit farther down. Um, but these two are brand new, so we'll take a look at all of them, of course. But it is weird to already have half the next wave be repaints of the first wave, but... At least all the heads are new. So we'll go ahead, we'll bust these guys out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So we'll start off first with the two Autobots. Um, upper here we have Brawn, which I think they did a pretty nice job with the color scheme. I like the forest green and the yellow. I think it works pretty well together. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the molded in head there for the Titan Master. It kind of resembles Brawn, but more simplistic. With just a faceplate and a visor. Uh, but transforming him into the Titan Master. They did a great job with Bronze face. The color blue they use for the eyes is perfect. And I love his facial expression there. And just the paint and the molding is just absolutely fantastic. I love that Titan Master. And he comes with this little vehicle. That kind of resembles his G1 alt mode. And you can see there's a little connector there. So you can take the Titan Master. And you kind of have to turn the head 180 degrees to get it to work. And it's a little difficult to do just because it kind of wants to move and it's kind of a tight space. But you can get it connected in there. And it kind of adds a little bit of bulk to the top. Which just makes it even more resemble his original G1 alt mode. So I kind of like that. Then you can take that out. And it has kind of a futuristic bike mode. You just kind of flip all these panels around. And then turn it upside down and flip up this yellow part. And it's supposed to be kind of like a futuristic bike. You can see there's two pegs there. So you can kind of fold his hands out. And then get this. Now it's a little difficult because the joints on mine are very tight. But I guess that's a good thing. So once you get him pegged in there. Then you can lean him forward and it looks like he's riding around on this futuristic bike. Really nice Autobot symbol there. It's nicely painted. So this mode's okay. I kind of prefer the other one, but that's just my personal preference. Uh, you can also flip these back and see this yellow uh, big peg. You can push that down in the back. And that's going to make the, via or the weapon mode. It's not terrible. All of these little vehicles have a w two vehicle modes and a weapon mode. And the weapon modes are usually nothing exciting. But I think that one kind of works. It's one of the better ones in my opinion. But yeah, I like this little vehicle. And I definitely love the Brawn Titan Master. It's absolutely fantastic as far as molding and paint scheme. He's definitely one of my favorites from this wave. Uh, over here we have the vehicle is a repaint of the one that came with Crash Bash. A.K.A. Squeeze Play. Um, it's the exact same dragon that can turn into the little T-Rex. Which we'll take a look at in a minute. But up here we have Clobber. Now I'm not sure if they wanted to save the name in case they wanted to use it later or what. But this guy is obviously supposed to be Grimlock. You wouldn't know it from the head here. But when you transform him. I mean that's definitely Grimlock's face. Beautifully painted visor. Nice molding here for the faceplate and everything. So I definitely like the Grimlock head. I just, I, you know they know, sorry. You know they have the name Grimlock. They have the rights to it. They use it all the time. So I'm not sure why they didn't use it here. I'm guessing they just figured they didn't want to waste it on this little guy. But you can see little tabs there. It's exactly the same as the one that came with Squeeze Play. 
Why won't he tab in? There you go. So you can tab on and ride around on the back like that. Or you can take this tab on the back here, fits in to become the lower jaw of the T-Rex. Fold the hands out and just kind of play around with the angles until it all works. And the head kind of fits into this little hole and then these panels just fold up. And then you just rotate the legs around. And what was the head of the dragon now becomes the tail. And you have a little T-Rex mode. I love the red painted eyes and the Autobot symbol on the top. Nicely painted there. And the color scheme works. I think it's fun. It's kind of a yellow and gunmetal gray. So it's really not bad. Uh, and then it does have a vehicle, or I'm sorry, I keep saying vehicle. <laughs> a weapon mode where you can kind of rotate this peg down and rotate this and kind of put these back down here. And then you just kind of bring these feet and they become kind of the barrels of the gun. There we go. Just like that. So that's the weapon mode. It's not terrible. It's not great. But it's there. So I definitely think Clobber is a nice homage to Grimlock. Even though it is a repaint of a toy you probably already have if you bought the first wave. But it's a nice color scheme. And it's definitely an excellent Titan Master. Even if the vehicle is not, you know, nothing new. But it's worth it for the Titan Master because it's a really nice representation and homage to Grimlock. So both of these Autobots are pretty excellent. Next up, the two Decepticons. We have Ape Face, which I think they did an excellent job with as well. I really love these Titan Masters, and these little packs are so inexpensive that they're just fun to collect. They do a pretty nice job with the little vehicles. Uh, Ape Face looks pretty excellent as far as molding and color scheme here. The head of the Titan Master pretty much just looks like Ape Face's head again. But the purple and black go well together when you transform it. Really nice paint and sculpting here. I would have loved the eyes to be painted red or something just to make them pop a little bit more. But overall, the silver paint here and the molding in the head is really nice. Fantastic job with that. His little ape companion here is pretty fun. Uh, it's the first thing we've gotten that where one of the alt modes is an animal. But I mean, that's reminiscent of G1 Ape Face where he had a plane mode, an ape mode, and a robot mode. So they decided to give us this little monkey here. There's not much to him. You can move the arms up and down if you like. That's pretty much it. But nice paint, nice molding. To transform him into the jet, you just go ahead and push the arms in. And then this whole nose cone just flips over. But again, it's very reminiscent. Looks like the G1 jet mode. Nice paint. Little pink here breaks up the other colors, which look nice. You just lay him in like this. Very simply. But it works. I definitely think both modes work. They're a lot of fun. Uh, also, it does have a weapon mode where you just turn the arms around 180. And then there's a peg in the back here that you flip down. Again, not bad. It's okay for a weapon mode. To me, the weapon modes are just kind of bonus. I buy these things for the Titan Master and the, uh, you know, little vehicle modes are pretty neat. So putting him off to the side, we'll take a look here at Skyreach, I believe the name is. But to me, he's definitely, and I don't think there's any argument here, an homage to the original G1 Duocon of Flywheels because it's the same color scheme uh, and Flywheels was a jet and a tank that merged together, and the two different vehicle modes for this is a tank and a jet, so I don't think anyone really argues the fact that this guy is supposed to be an homage to Flywheels. I mean, Skyreach is a pretty cool name, but I'm going to call him Flywheels. I love that they painted the chest and the legs, kind of breaks up the coloring, and I like the sculpt there. And then transforming him. That's just a fantastic job. They really have been knocking uh, these face sculpts out of the park. And the paint is so nice. The red for the visor and the silver. Really, really well done. Uh, so bringing this guy back in here with his vehicle. We've seen this before. It's the exact same uh, tank jet that came with Horrible. Nice paint there for the Decepticon symbol. 
There are pegs down in there so that you can go ahead and peg the feet in. Nothing wants to peg in tonight. So there you go. He can ride around firing his little tank. Then you can unpeg him from there, flip these down to form wings, and then fold this section around, and that makes his little jet. And then he really just rests on top exactly the same way that Ape Face did and the same way that Horrible does. I'm pretty sure he does. There you go. I didn't have it clicked in all the way. Oh, it's being a pain. Well, I don't know why it's refusing to rest in here. But you get the idea. It kind of lays like that. For whatever reason, it's not getting in there for me, but it's okay. I mean, the color scheme is nice. And then the weapon mode, you literally just fold these up, and this peg on the back flips down. And there's your weapon mode because of the barrels down there. So all in all, not bad. I definitely think Ape Face is the better of the two, but... Skyreach is definitely a nice repaint of this mold, and the head is a new sculpt, so it's they're both pretty fantastic. I recommend them both. I really like all four of these sets. I know two of them are repaints of two of the ones from Wave 1, which is kind of weird to see in Wave 2. Uh, usually repaints, they wait a little bit. Um, but they're really nice repaints, I gotta say. And it really, the only part that's not new is the little vehicle, because the heads are new. I mean, you're getting a new face on the back, you're getting a new paint scheme here, and I believe even the little heads are remolded, or brand new molds as well. So, the only part of the set that is a repaint is the little vehicle, which really isn't that big a deal in my mind. Um, I think all four of these sets are great, and the fact that they're only $5 a piece makes it really affordable to collect them. And I really don't feel like there's any reason not to grab them, especially if you're a Transformer fan like me, and if you're having a great time with the Titans Return line like I am. These are a great, easy way to bolster your Titan Master slash Headmaster collection here uh, with these cool little $5 sets. I just think they're a lot of fun. I don't really have anything to complain about. Yes, it's weird to get two repaints in the second wave, but they did a good job with them, and I don't think it's a problem. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um... At least pick up these two. If you're really dead set against repaints, then fine. But these two are fantastic, and there's no reason not to grab them. But I recommend all four. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the second wave of the Titan Master class for Transformers Titans Return. Uh, I know it was a little bit late. I've had them for a little bit, but just kind of had a bad backlog and I could finally get to this video. And I was very excited because I am loving this line so far and I hope you guys are too. So let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching.